Hello and welcome back to the Bright School of English. Peter here. And today we're going to take a little look at the phonetic symbols. The phonetic symbols are here to help you with pronunciation of words in English. I've picked these examples because I think they show very well how the same spelling can have such different pronunciation. So, three words with O, U, G and H. Through, plough, cough. Totally different sounds. So if you look in your dictionary, you'll have the phonetic symbols. Th through, through, plough, cough. Without these, and without somebody who does know the pronunciation, you're going to have real problems here. So it's, it's worth trying to learn these phonetic symbols if you're serious about good English pronunciation. And phonetics helps us not just with the sounds, but also with the numbers of syllables in a word. Many English words have silent syllables. For example, vegetable. Now many students pronounce it vegetable, vegetable, but this is wrong because this vowel E is silent. But if you look at the phonetics, vegetable, vegetable. It also tells us which syllable is stressed. And this is the stress mark. This comes before the syllable which is stressed. So we know it's vegetable, vegetable. Comfortable. This is not comfortable. Okay? Comfortable. Comfortable. Stressed. Comf. Comfortable. A classic, uh, the capital of the capital city of Scotland, this gets mispronounced a lot. Even by English speakers like Americans and Canadians get this wrong. They often call it Edinburgh. We're going to Edinburgh. If you look at the phonetics, you will see the pronunciation is Edinburgh, 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 eh, stress, Edinburgh. I do hope that was useful. Um, that's it for now. If you haven't already subscribed, you can do so by pressing here. See you next time.